It is, of course, that anyone who would buy a film based on just the key elements of it without having seen a single frame would, of course, ask who is the producer. And it is your reputation, it is your project, and it is of your credibility that you are able to deliver the film. Pre-sales can be done on two levels, national level and international level. Let's talk about national level first. As an example, in a French-Spanish co-production, the French co-producer would be granted the exclusive right to exploit the movie in France and in other French-speaking territories. And the Spanish co-producer would have the exclusive right for exploitation of the film in Spain. For the exploitation in the so-called ROW, Rest of the World Territories, the parties may appoint a sales agent and then divide the revenues according to their contribution to the picture. The film qualifies as a European co-production under the EU Convention. Um, there is no bilateral treaty between the UK and Germany, which is why the EU Convention was the only way to qualify as a European co-production. Um, in terms of our point system, uh, we actually didn't get to the required 15, because um, we have an Australian scriptwriter. Um, John Le Carey, originator of the novel, doesn't count in, in the European point system. Um, we had US cast in both leading roles. Um, so we, in the end we actually got to 14. You know, the, l the more you work into the details of the film, uh, the more concrete the budget becomes and we learned that budget was going up, up, up. And even if there is uh, a tax credit system in, in uh, New York State, uh, that refunds like 30% of the cost you know, that we spend there. We thought we could manage a budget of $9 million, but it, like uh, at that time we didn't have all that in place. The main document that is being signed is the so-called collection agreement or CAMA or CAM or uh, whatever collection agent management agreement is, is the official name. Um, and the karma is uh, ultimately one of the most important documents you will ever have on a film because all the key terms of all the finance agreements are summarized in the, in the karma. So often it's enough 10 years later to look only in the karma and see who gets what. Internationally, the theatre still takes its 60%. Out of the remaining 40%, the national distributor will take 50%. After deduction of the uh, expenses and the minimum guarantee, if any has been paid, the money will go into the collection account. The collection agent will take 1% and the sales agent will take 20% fee and the remaining part will go to the recoupment of the film. <laughs> 